In Eshi, high above the Lake of Thun, alpacas and llamas have replaced the familiar Swiss scene of cows grazing in rich green pastures. Arnold Lugimbul started breeding llamas in 1994 and added alpacas in 2000. It was his chance to break into a new market, tourism. They're very intelligent animals. You can go walking with them, although it's not exactly like walking a dog. You can also use them for trekking. You can't really do that with cows. At the end of the summer, the herd has to return to its winter pastures, just like the cows. They're gentle, sociable, and unlike cows, low maintenance. They don't need much room and cost about as much to feed as a dog. I had cows for more than 40 years and was an ordinary farmer. I used to get up at 5 o'clock and milk the cows and did other jobs until 8 o'clock at night. Now I can sleep in until 7 or 7.30. The llamas are good for trekking, the alpacas for their fine wool. And the Lugin bulls make extra money by organizing courses on how to raise the animals. But other farmers who feel like making the switch should take heed. A good quality breeding alpaca female can cost up to 14,000 francs and she won't be happy living on her own.